from that photo to humanity is sleepwalking towards the edge of a cliff. cliff. That is the warning from one scientist, as new research showed a 60% decrease in wildlife around the world since 1970. The conservation group, the Worldwide Fund for Nature, lays the blame squarely with us. We have, they say, consistently overused natural resources. Sky Science correspondent Thomas Moore reports. There are now 7.7 .7 billion people on the planet. That's more than twice as many as in 1970. Over the same time, wildlife populations have decreased by an average of 60%. Our runaway consumption of energy, land and water is killing nature. According to WWF's Living Planet report, species such as rhinos, African grey parrots, white rump vultures and born-in orangutans are all in decline. Latin America and the Caribbean, home to the jaguar and the giant anteater, are worst affected, with populations of monitored species down by 89%. Their habitat, the tropical forest, is shrinking. Trees are being replaced by farmland, palm oil for processed foods and soya beans for animal feed. And take a look at this. Livestock is replacing wildlife. Of all the mammals in the world, apart from us, 96% are cattle, sheep and pigs. Just 4% are wild species. The, the loss of habitat in one part of the world, as well as being driven by what happens in another part of the world, also impacts then what happens in those parts of the world. So, for example, you know, losing the Amazon rainforest would be absolutely catastrophic from the point of view of, of tackling climate change. So it matters to all of us that we should make sure that these key parts of the world are not uh, damaged any further. The oceans are in decline too. Six billion tonnes of fish, shellfish and other creatures have been taken from the seas since 1950, with industrial fishing pushing some populations to collapse. Warming seas, driven by climate change, are killing coral. By mid-century, 90% of reefs could be gone. And as we've highlighted with the Sky Ocean Rescue campaign, plastic is being eaten by fish, turtles and whales. And as I found off the Welsh coast, gannets are even raising their chicks in nests of discarded fishing nets, with tragic consequences. In two years' time, nations will gather for the United Nations Convention on Biological Diversity. WWF says habitats need protecting and the economy made more sustainable to reverse the decline in wildlife.